This is the meiosis video activity presented by Vincent, Ian, and Bailey. First, I want to mention the difference between asexual and sexual reproduction. In sexual reproduction, two parents take part. Variation occurs in offsprings and includes two parents and is able to change when environment also changes. Now that was the three main components for sexual reproduction. Now for asexual, a single parent is involved. Offspring are genetically identical to the parent and there is no mixing of hereditary material. The second thing I want to mention about is the difference between meiosis and mitosis. In meiosis, purpose is to produce four haploid daughter cells which have a genetic diversity. In mitosis, the purpose is to produce two identical daughter cells, as you can see over here. Interphase is what prepares for prophase 1. During G1 phase, the cell grows proteins and organelles develop based on DNA. During the S phase of interphase, the DNA is replicated, as you can see right here, and it will produce two copies of its chromosome called sister chromatids. The pair of centrioles in the cytoplasm duplicates right here and begin extending microtubules that will form the meiosis spindle. So these are the pairs. And each chromosome has two sister chromatids held together by a centromere and condense as it enters prophase. So each chromosome has two sister chromatids held together by a centromere. And this is the two chromatids held together by the small centromere and condenses as it enters prophase 1. This is the meiosis spindle that's beginning to form. So after that, the chromosomes coil up and the spindle forms, which is still right here, and homologous chromosomes come together, match gene by gene, forming a tetrad, and this is the tetrad right here. The four chromatids make up the tetrad. And then crossing over may occur when chromatids exchange genetic material. This process is called crossing over and it's when a male and female parent exchanges genetic material, which shows right here. And the nuclear envelope disintegrates, which is right here, so this entire circle should be gone. And the duplicated centrioles pairs move toward opposite poles of the cell, which they go here, and this comes around here. And then as they move, they extend the spindle fibers, which form the meiosis spindle. Chiasma is crossing over. In prometaphase, the meiosis spindle is fully formed and the duplicated pair of centrioles are in place. So the centrioles would be right here, down here, and this would be to the opposite pole, which then they would be extending their meiosis spindle to the central mirror and connecting to the kinetochore right here. And then the sent sister chromatids will attach with their kinetochores. We had 46 chromosomes at the beginning of meiosis 1, and at the end of meiosis 2, we had 23 chromosomes and 4 cells. Meiosis is called reduction division because the cells divide to form cells that have half the original number of chromosomes.